Alright you guys, I want to talk about the measures of the center and I'm going to be talking about the median or the mean and trying to figure out which one is better. Also I'll talk a little bit about histograms and how to construct them on your calculator. Alright, so let's get into it. So I want to address the question, what is the most suitable measure of the center for the following data set? Alright, so we have this data set right here and I want to point out this value right here. It seems kind of big. What's up with this value? Is that going to affect our choice? Well, let's see. Let's take a look at the data by plugging it into a calculator. So if I go to stat, edit, and I plug it into list one, L1, I already have it plugged in. Then I'm going to go to stat, calc, one bar stats, and I'm just going to put L1 in there. So second one, that gives me the L1. You see the L1 right there? Now, if I press enter, it's going to give me these summary statistics. So this is what the calculator gives us when we do one bar stats of L1. Some things that we really want to look at are X bar and the median. We're comparing these two. Now, which one seems like a better measure of the center? Now, look at this data. The values are from 7,500, 7,800. We got 5,000, 9,000, 9,000, 6,000, 8,000, and 75,000. Now, the majority of these values are less than 10,000. So 16,000, does that seem like a good measure of the center? Or does 8,000 seem like a better measure of the center? Well, the answer is 8,000 because the majority of these values are less than 10,000. So 8,000 is a better representation of the center. Now, technically, we should check and see if 75,000 is an outlier. We're gonna have to use the inner quartile range in order to answer that question. Interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which are right here. Q3 and Q1 are right there. So 9,475 minus 7,100, it's 2,375. Now with that, we're gonna find the upper fence. And we're gonna see if 75,000 is bigger than the upper fence. If it is, then 75,000 is an outlier. So let's see. The upper fence, what is it? It's Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And that equals to 9,475 plus 1.5 times 2,375. So 9,475 plus that, what do we get? 13,037.5. So we have overwhelming evidence that 75,000 is an outlier. Let me show you that. So I'm going to answer the question, is 75,000 an outlier and why? Yes, because 75,000 is greater than 13,037.5, which was the upper fence. So yes, 75,000 is an outlier. So one thing to point out here is that the mean is affected by the outlier. It got bigger because there's this big outlier. So the mean uses every single one of these values in its calculation. Therefore, the mean gets affected by the outlier. However, when you find the median, you do not use all of these values. You only find the middle value. So we say that the median is resistant. It's unaffected by outliers. So that answers the question on what's the better measure of the center. In this case, it's the median. Now, sometimes you can draw a picture of a histogram in order to get a good picture of the distribution of the data, whether or not it's skewed right or symmetric. So I wanna show you how to get a histogram on the TI-84. You're gonna to go to the stat plot right here. Second, stat plot. And then you're gonna make sure you pick one of these graphs. Notice how I have a green light there. That means one of my graphs is on and all of these graphs are off. So make sure this graph is on. I have my data in X list, L1, cause that's where I put the data. My frequency is L1. So now if I click this little graph right here, icon, there's different graphs that you can make. Scatter plot, box plots, histogram, line graphs, scatter plots. But we want a histogram, that's the histogram. So you click done. And then you just hit graph. And you may have to hit zoom and do like a zoom stat to make sure you can get like a better graph. Now my graph looks not like a normal histogram because there's only two bars. Why do you think there's only two bars? Well, that's because one of my bars has all of the data and this one is like an outlier. So the way that it created this histogram is that the interval length is huge. 
So if I go to window, I can make this a little better by going second window. Change the X min to like 5500. Why 5500? Well, the smallest value seems to be 5600. And for the regular data, seems like it goes to around 10,000. A little less than 10,000. So I'm going to make this 10,000. My X scale, I'm going to decrease it to like 500. And then I'll take a look at that. And that should make me sort of zoom into the graph, make it look better. The X scale is really going to help. So let's see. Now I'll hit graph. And now we have a better picture of the histogram. It looks pretty symmetric. You got a big bar in the middle. It doesn't look too skewed. However, that one data value over there is an outlier. If I zoom out a little bit on my graph, bang, look at it. There it is way over there. Okay, to sum it all up, if your data is skewed or has an outlier, which measure of the center are you gonna go with? Well, hopefully you learn to go with the median because the median is resistant. It's unaffected by outliers. All right, I hope this helps.